Unscheduled by Kath Whiting Episode 2 It's another deathly quiet shift in the cafe. The grandfather clock is ticking out endless seconds. Jeannie, the other waitress, is glued to her phone but I need to be busy. Otherwise, my mind will fill itself with painful memories. I concentrate on folding napkins into origami swans. The bell on the door goes, finally a customer. He sits at a table facing the window. I grab a menu and rush over. Jeannie doesn't even look up. Good morning, sir. Can I get you a drink while you look at the menu? He turns around. It is Navinda Singh. My heart starts thumping in my chest. Oh my goodness, train girl from yesterday. He starts laughing. What are the chances? Quite a coincidence. I rack my brains trying to remember if I'd mentioned where I worked. Maybe the gods are trying to tell us something. He winks at me. His eyes are dark, hypnotic. Jeannie is looking over, interested. I um, need to get you something. I hand him the menu. Like your number? I feel myself blushing. I glance again at Jeannie, who is still staring. I don't know if she can hear. Tea? Coffee? Juice? I'm sorry, you're at work. I'll have coffee, please, but not in my lap. And can I get a cheese and tomato sandwich? Coming right up, I take back his unopened menu. While I'm making the coffee, Jeannie nudges me. He's a looker. What? Oh, I hadn't noticed. Well, he likes you. He hasn't taken his eyes off you. The flowery china rattles in my hand as I carry the coffee. Very pretty he says as I set the cup and saucer down. The china, he adds quickly. I put down a napkin and he grabs my hand. Navinda Singh has a strong grip. I'm sorry if I've embarrassed you. It's just I was kicking myself yesterday when I didn't do anything and here you are today. It's like a second chance. His eyes are wide, imploring. Do I get a second chance at happiness? Do I let myself go again? Everything that happened with Trevor comes back to me. And how did Navinda Singh know I'd be here? He seems genuine, but it's easy to pretend. A shiver runs through me. So, a drink, he asks. He smiles. His teeth are very straight and white. I pull my hand away and take a step back, knocking over a chair behind me. I hear Jeannie laughing. I right the chair and run out to the kitchen. I make his sandwich, but force Jeannie to take it out to him. I stay out the back. <laughs>